As cases continue to rise across the state, one northern Utah hospital is seeing an early influx of respiratory illnesses. ABC4's northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner tells us what health officials are asking the public to do to keep hospitals from reaching capacity during flu season. I am terrified. Dr. Taki May at Intermountain Logan Regional Hospital is worried with flu season approaching. This year we've already seen an unseasonable rise in our respiratory syncytial virus or RSV in children. We've seen um, some, some unseasonably early viruses in adults leading to hospitalizations. Obviously it's concerning. We are moving into our respiratory season and if we're seeing this uh, this level of COVID and it's compounded with influenza and RSV. This, health officials say, comes after a quiet flu season last year. We were blessed last year with the fact that we had virtually no influenza and on the pediatric side, none of your typical respiratory viruses because we were masked and we were promoting social distancing. With a recent increase in COVID cases and early respiratory illnesses, health officials say this flu season it is concerning. Uh, and we're asking individuals to, to do everything they can uh, to help the collective community. That includes getting vaccinated and staying home when you're feeling sick, even if you are vaccinated, until you can get tested for COVID-19. You may just think you have the common cold, but you could be spreading that virus to others. And Dr. May says this flu season, everyone needs to get involved to help keep hospitals from hitting capacity. We need to be safe and I want everybody to be wearing their masks whenever they're not able to social distance or whenever they're indoors. In Logan, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.